provider. Our provider. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you ever taught us.
Hebrews, taken from Hebrews, chapter 15, sorry, 13, from verses 15 to 21. to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with the joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. But I beseech you the rather to do this, that I may be restored to you the sooner. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is a portion of God's holy word. Great 
him more lively and give him a couple of shouts of hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a thankful service. This is a thankful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I think we choose to rejoice. I think we choose to be here. So we should rejoice and be glad in this day. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome the Holy Ghost which is the head of my life. I want to welcome the house pastor of Pastor Parchment, the pastor, the woman of God, woman of faith. Amen. Her faith, turn off. Many think a young little may have faith, but when I tell us that she has faith, this is a faith house, this is a welcome still, you know. But this is a different kind of welcome. She's a faith woman. This is just a faith house. This is just a thankful and they have given thanks for this house. I've seen it when it had no roof and his life is just explosion. Saints, my God, this is a day of faith of giving thanks unto the Lord. Bless the Lord. Minister Karen Jones, um, my other mother. I'm a father, doctor, doctor, my daddy, doctor, one of my fathers, my main father. Doctor, Apostle, Bishop, Pastor Hay. He's on Power Line, um, Power 106. Free advertisement. Power 106, Sundays at 6.30 to 8.30 or 8 p.m. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, Minister Bogna, Evangelist, Prophetess, Son of Nicole. Evangelist, prophetess, missionary, uh, missionary, sister Dark, and uh, sister Young. Thank God that you're here and welcome, welcome, uh, welcome to everybody. Brother Johnson, thank you for being here, sir. Uh, welcome to everybody, musician, cameraman, brother Booz, everybody, myself. Bless the Lord and we thank you. Oh, social media, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Hello to social media, welcome, and I hope you have a wonderful time worshiping with us, and those in England, and those in the US, and those all over the world who are worshiping with us today. Bless the Lord, and we welcome you. Have a wonderful day, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. At this time, Parents, do not erase your 
your child, for they will become discouraged. Slaves obey your human masters, in which all things, not only when they are watching you, because you want to gain their approval, but doing it a sincere heart, because you are reverence for the Lord. Whatever you do, work with all your heart, as though you are working for the Lord, not for people. Remember that the Lord will give you a reward what has kept for his people. For Christ is, real, is the real master who serve. And all the words will be saved.
Edwards was to come up here when she proved to sit down there. Let's wave your hands and let everybody know. Amen. Plus Elaine Edwards, and she's all the way from coming from Montego Bay, and a group with her. And she comes in the audience there in the name of Jesus. Um, we have our minister, um, Elizabeth Young. Praise the Lord. She'll be singing in a little while. Praise the name of Jesus. A woman that comes from a mighty long way. Hallelujah. She decree, she decree and declare that she cannot miss the service. We have been friends since 204. We came through many waters, deep waters. Many, many mountains we have climbed. Hallelujah. Today she's sitting in this service today. So God, we all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah.
you ever tortured me, that you ever tortured me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us continue to worship the Lord. Bless the Lord. Worship the Lord. Lift your hands and praise the Lord. Lift your voice and bless the Lord. God is in his house. And he's ready to be praised. And God is here.
the crew who I give you a Thanksgiving greetings. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. Father God, we thank you for this day. Let me tell you something. If we only knew the blessings and salvation, we will never stay away. If we only start the table, spreading yeah. some of the we will come to the, the, the feast today. Praise God. I bring you greetings from Christian Glory Ministries, Montpelier, Montego Bay. I am so happy to be in the house of the Lord with you, our sweet saints, giving praise God to God. You have, have yourself a wonderful day. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. At this time, we're all going to be giving back. Praise the Lord God has been blessing us. And at this time, we're going to ask you for an offering. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, that hymn we're going to sing um, in your, on your song sheet is... Um, there shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons of refreshment sent from the Savior of all. Showers of blessing. And I'm going to sing with you. Valley. Now, just bear with me for a moment. When was it, Pastor? 2019 convention? Or was it fasting? That this woman of God came and she sowed, as we talk about sowing seeds into the ministry, and as she sowed, the Lord began to open doors. I'm talking about sowing seed. Hallelujah. When she left us, the roof went on. She came. And she came and she called me because there were so much things happening. And we were just back and forth with each other, praying on the phone, praying for breakthroughs and so on. Then she called me to sow seed in my ministry. <laughs> and before she gave me the money, <laughs> the money what? Double? Yeah, three times. Three times. <laughs> triple times. <laughs> triple times. <laughs> Today as I sat here, I wanted to share this. I came here, I have a need, a, a great need. Very serious. It's a lot of money involved. And I have a hundred US in my bank. And I, I plan to sow a thousand dollars. And the Lord spoke to me to sow the 100 US into this ministry. And I believe in God. That as you touch us and we touch you, that great things will happen in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You see, sometimes the devil needs to say, Remember, you have this new way, you have that to go. When the Lord speaks, you don't know why the Lord have you to do this now. Sometimes you come into the house of the Lord and he has a great package in store for you and he speaks to you to give. And you hold back and you give the, the, the smaller figure. And you know what? You lose it. I remember my husband and I going to a crusade in Alberton and we had $600 then. And, and he said, the Lord is speaking to me to give the five. You know that time $600 is a lot of money? And the Lord said, give me $500. And the husband, in tight sometimes, you know, you know, in my learn now, say my let it go. And he, he, he him say, no, come back, let's please go to that, because we never have any more money. And when we came out, a man charging $500 for grass, because we had cows then. $500 for grass. I said, God, you see this? We lose the money because we did not sow the money that he spoke to us to give. That man still ended up dying because somebody poisoned him, not long like after. So when you trouble Israel, you trouble God. But today we're going to give. And we're not just going to give what we want to give. But we want to give what God says that we're to give. Amen. Praise God. The song pass.
And we need to bless this offering. In the name of Jesus, I will be to him. Father, we bless this offering that as we receive uh, in the name of Jesus, is in order, is in support of the ongoing building that is here in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Whatever you give, the Lord will multiply it and bless you as you go along in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. I just want to hear some more praises in this house. Because every time about the, you know, giving the history of this place, my God. Um, this particular ministry here started in 1999. Oh, glory. We had a first up in the service right across over there. Bless the Lord. We have the pictures to show in the name of Jesus. But in the next time that we worship, when we ask you to come, we'll give you full, you know, everything about it. That's the name of Jesus, and we have been, we were worshiping our, that's the Lord. The Sunday school was under, uh, uh, what's the name of it? Grapefruit tree over there. So we had our first uh, um, Sunday school, it was under the Grapefruit tree. We had a twin, two girls, um, got their names now and a young boy by the name of Alex. They were the ones that are registered on this church um, board. Uh, yes, they were the first to come to Sunday school. We have several others, and the Lord bless us, and when we have our next meeting, we will have a sea of photographs to show you about how the church grew. And then we started in a 40-foot container. He came all the way from England. I said, a friend come to me, came to visit me, and we're talking about your church. They said to me, do you know that the container is used for all things? I said, I never know. She said, yes. So I ordered it on the went and bought it for me and bring it, sent it back here. The first one to come on those corners that you came, they're coming from down uh, also Spring Way, <laughs> from uh, we mean, uh, from Clarkstone Way. And he came here, he fell out, he dropped out here. And the history, well, I can't tell you the history, but eventually we had it put up and it was worshiping there from 202 to 2012. Amen? We sold the container. And then my brother here, when I was inside here, let him think about where we were going to meet Sunday morning. I hear a knocking. When I came out there, I saw a building. And I said to him, I didn't know you could build church or build whatever, do building. He said, I don't know a lot about you. <laughs> Give God praise for him. Amen. Amen. I call him Amen. The power of mine. Amen. Amen. I keep God as my baby brother. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm going to say, praise God for him today. Amen. He's been in support for me, uh, you know, and for us, this church. Amen. We every photograph is taken and we took them. Oh, when I don't know that they're taking, they're taking. Mm -hmm. um, about a month ago, I had a visitor, a young man Lim, you know, he's born from here, but he went away and was living in Canada. And he was sitting somewhere over there, and I'm glad that he's a worshiper as well. And he said to me, I remember you when you used to have the, the open air services of uh, this place and that place and that place. I said, I never saw you. He said, I was carrying a bag where my brother was taking these photographs. And he said to me, he made me blush. He said, you look the same of all these years. You don't look any older, you just look better. Praise the name of the Lord. And I'm saying that I did not even remember that man. I didn't know him at all. And he was coming to remind me of the work I've done and where I'm coming from. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we are saying that they, the people, Pastor, they call it the hut. You know, they call it the hut over there. But then, the Lord has planned for this place and this church and for this ministry and for this community. And look what the Lord has done. here, 
going to leave the show. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
Praise the Lord, everyone. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to greet the ministers on the song. I want to greet Reverend Parchment. My mother, my friend, my sister, Lord, she's everything to me. God is good. As you can see me, I was not born like this. Last year, I amputated my foot because of circulation. But I'm alive and well. I am glad for Jesus. A lot of persons say, Sister Lizzie, oh, you cut your foot and you're happy, so I'm happy. Because I've got Jesus. And there is nothing more I want. For the church.
I was born 1947, first of July. I have 10 children. I have seven girls and three more. I have accepted the Lord as my personal savior. I have been to the hospital several times. Through my ministry, persons got saved. Even the last time when I went to the hospital, Reverend dear can tell you, lady got saved under my ministry and she baptized. Reverend correspond with her. This woman, I am just warning somebody now, be ye careful. Amen. Careful what to say about her. Do you hear me? Amen. I am warning somebody, careful, the wrath of God will take you. Because she not play church. So careful all those people that play church. I remember one Sunday I was in church and a lady get up and start searching and shout and and under the authority, I went up to her and said, please sit down. You have no shock. You need to repent. And she started one. I said, hold your peace in the name of Jesus. I just see she dropped down at the church of a pretty yard. And that woman now sweetly saved by in church. So careful what to say about the woman of God. Love her, cherish her, pray for her. Amen. I remember when this church was going on. I leave my church sometimes, I come and I help. And sometimes some people say, I want a woman, they want this dad at church at midnight, and nobody will come. Look at the church now. Look at the church now. We oh, no, no, see not see yet. It just, it just, it come. So pray, my brethren. Pray for her. Pray for our brother. She's a wonderful tower strength to her. God bless you, everybody. I love you. Because God is good. Don't play a church. Stay in church. That young man who sing, God bless you. Strength in the Lord. God bless. Amen. Praise the Lord.
daughter like Esther to the kingdom for such a time as this. Lord, we pray that her needy bowl will never go empty. Lord, we pray that her storage will never run out. Today, God, I pray you'll pour into her. Somebody shall bless her, Lord. Come on, don't be covetous. I say, bless her, Lord. Bless her with vehicles. Bless her with lands. Bless her with houses. Bless her with people. Bless this woman of God. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Without this woman answering the call, we would not have gathered here today in such a place as this. So we honor the woman of God today. We give God thanks for her faithful service through sickness, through pain, through lack. Through it all. Through it all. You've learned to trust in Jesus. You've learned to trust in God. evangelism and missions. Former pastor of Faith Produce Miracle Ministry, Brian Crescent, Clarinda, a member of the Independent Churches of Jamaica, Apostle Harold, Dr. Errol Hay, is currently host of Prayer Line on Power 106, 
radio program yes. air between 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Yeah, man, I guess some of you would have heard that program. I know. And sometimes we, 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 we partner with him yes. as well to minister the word. Amen. Hallelujah. On May 26, 2017, he was conferred with an honorary degree, Doctor of Humanity from Calvary's Cross Institute in Florida, USA. On March 3, 2019, he was ordained as an apostle by Calvary's Cross Institute, Florida, USA. He is married to missionary Dr. Nerika Hill, a retired school principal, and his father is the father of two sons. Apostle Dr. A. Earl A. lives by the mansion. Let no one steal your joy. Oh He's an anointed God. man of God who is passionate about winning souls for God, God's oh, kingdom. God. Let us stand congregation as we pray that God will minister for him today. Father, in the name of Jesus, he is your servant. Again, we say, Lord, take the stage and have your way. When you're done, we will give you the glory in the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Reverend Dr. Earl Hay. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody. Good to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, it's my first time in this bus. From I was about, from I have since I read about Warsaw. And only on way to Warsaw. Somebody talk to me, I need for you to talk to me. How near is Warsaw? Two miles. Two miles. So in a French is so man. Just turn it on a bit. Just turn it on because it's giving some people. I need to go to Warsaw just to see what it looks like. Amen? Amen? This is my very first time in these parts. But I've been as the Minister Jones say, I've been with her for so many years now, more than I can count. The, the, um, the instruction that I get is that I should be out of here by 3 o'clock. Because my vehicle is a day vehicle. Okay? It's a day vehicle, not a night vehicle. So I don't know. How the Lord will do it. But he can and he will and he shall. You remember when Philip was taken to the Ethiopian eunuch and transporting? Well, maybe we have to do that. I remember some time ago I came to Sister Karen and when we were finishing the night, I also had a day vehicle. When I reach up to somewhere there, wait a bit. The fog, the Jamaican snow. And I said, Lord, I need a pilot. And by the time I said, Lord, I need a pilot, I saw a car. And the Lord said, There is your a pilot. And it, the car just drives slowly until it reached where I could maneuver. And when it reached where I could maneuver. Zoom! And I couldn't know where that car went. I said, Thank you, Jesus. And I was safe here. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. He's good. Now, let me greet the host pastor, the senior voice of this ministry, and all the workers and all the different ministers of the gospel. And even those on social media, I don't know what platform where you are at in terms of the Andrew we at, but all the persons and watching us on is it YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp and if possible so as up. Amen. But I greet you, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's good to see young people as it's awesome. Young people singing and doing ministry. It's good to see. Let's encourage young people. Hallelujah. And then as I sat here, the Lord said to me, son, I want you to dedicate this house. 
Hallelujah. And he said, I must dedicate the equipment as well. Hallelujah. So let us stand one more time. Just before doing anything else. You're about Hallelujah. You're about Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. And we bless your much name. Hallelujah. We dedicate this building. Can I get a couple of pastors just to just touch Holy East, West, North, and South just to Holy touch the building, please? Just like this. Just pastors, just work with me, please. Father, we thank you and we bless you. And we give you praise and we give you glory. We thank you, Lord, that your, your tangible presence will be displayed. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As we dedicate it to you today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate the microphone, the equipment, in the name of Jesus. The, the cameras, and the children, the senior, and the junior. We dedicate them to you in the name of Jesus. But most of all, we pray that your presence will be displayed. Continually in the name of Jesus. And we pop back every force of darkness. In the name of Jesus. We come against every name say as no. And we silence the enemy. I say we silence the avenger. In the name of Jesus. We take territory right now. I say we take charge in the name of Jesus. And if you think that want to exalt itself against the knowledge of God, we cut them down right now. In Jesus' name. Somebody say Jesus' name. In Jesus', name. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and we bless you that from this time forward, that your presence will be displayed. That signs and wonders, that healing and breakthrough and deliverance will come to your people. And this community will break in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Glory! Thank you very much. Hallelujah. My assignment today is very simple, as you may take it. It's a, first of all, it's a rebuke, and then it's a charge. Amen? Amen. Amen. I say it's a rebuke, Amen. and then it's a charge. Amen. Hallelujah. Topic: Perseverance, persevering against all odds. Hallelujah! So those of us who want to take notes, persevering against all odds. When I was asked to to speak, I take time out to check with Daddy. A couple of days, it's about a week or so. Yeah, it was about a week. And I was searching and searching. And every time I get something, the Lord said, No, not that. And then Saturday was New Year's Day, and I was going to visit someone. My family and myself were going to visit someone. And the Lord said, take your Bible. I was looking for some notes. And the Lord said, take your Bible. I said, but Lord, where I'm going, I don't think it's fitting for that. And I said, take your Bible. So I took it. When I took the Bible, I was in the car, I was out, I was in with everybody, and I couldn't keep my peace. Yes, Lord. And then I go back in the car. And I said, well, I must carry my Bible. And I searched through the Bible. And when I Search the Bible, I found a note. I said, God, Jesus. look at that. That's yes, so I found a note, and from there on, I could get myself organized. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, could you turn a bit quickly to 2 Samuel? Hallelujah. The fifth, the fifth chapter. Hallelujah. And let's Let's do it at the sixth verse. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem against the Jebusites. 
and the inhabitants of the land to speak to David saying, you shall not come in here, but the blind and the lame will repel you, thinking David cannot come in here, come in here. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, that's the king, the city of David, that's the, sorry, that's the city of David. And David said to, said on that day, whosoever climbing up by the way of the water, water shaft and defeat the genocides and the lame and the blind who are hated by David were hated by David so he shall be chief and captain therefore they say the blind and the lame shall not come into the house then David dwell in the stronghold somebody says stronghold he dwell in the stronghold and call it the city of David and David built all around from Milo and Edward so David went on to become great, and the Lord God of hosts was with him. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Almighty God, that as we listen to your word today, we pray that you will pierce the heart of your people. For as this is written, those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Father, we pray as we circumference this area right now, this part of ground, we pray that your word will go forth with power, with precision, with clarity, and that it will search every heart. We thank you, Almighty God, that even now, hallelujah, we consecrate this place, we release your power, your anointing, we thank you that as we charge the atmosphere even now, that hallelujah, soul will be saved, persons will be set free, those who are born. And we thank you that your word are anointed and your word is power in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Definition, persevering, continue to, as a course of action and difficulty or delay in achieving success. Amen? Amen. That's what the, the definition of perseverance. In other words, don't give up. As I sat here and listened, and we learned that pastor have been too many battles. Oh my God. And she has been ridiculed, yeah. criticized, and look down at but look what the Lord has done. So this is not this is not anything yet. But as we read in the scriptures, we see even the people that were with David. Sometimes pastors are for people that are with you, and because they didn't get the vision, hallelujah, they, they can't believe, they can't understand the mandate. Hallelujah. And I tell you, Pastor, you will have opposition. You will have opposition within the ranks. Hallelujah. But as the word of God says, preachers, pastors, that as Jesus said it on the cross, when he was on the cross, when he was in the in the in the garden, he says, Not my will, but I will be done. Many of us who are preachers know it's a very lonely walk. There are times when you are criticized and you are looked down on and you are rebuked and you are tell you the way we do, you're not coming to nothing and you can't work. And because you see, we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And, 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 and at times, the enemy sends some agents inside and if, if you don't have a, a spirit of discernment, you can pick them up early and they'll come and they will be as beam as they are light and they are friend and they are scent and they are heart. 
for their own assignment. Hallelujah. But, but God, but God, but God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and I know that sometimes we have, would have conquered some battles. But you must understand this, that each battle is a game changer. Each battle in your life is a testimony at time or a place for you to look into yourself and go with God. Amen? Amen. Even at times your, your life, your children, your co-workers, and, 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 and even your, your, your neighbors sometimes. And how many of us at times when you would have caught up in some situation and when you check yourself, if you don't check properly, you would have gone into the flesh. What I mean by that sometimes, you would, you would say to some, somebody sometimes, like that, if you don't mind, if you don't want to take that piece of my mind. Hmm? It's, a, it's a good place to shout. Because I don't know about you, but there are times in the road, people will get on your nerve. Sometimes they touch the very last one. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody in this place? Sometimes, even you're looking for something and, and you put it down and you can't find somebody, remove it. And when you check it, if you don't mind, make, if you don't mind shot, you see some things. But God. But God. Sometimes the Holy Spirit has to remind you and say, don't go there. Hmm? Sometimes the very you're supposed to be ministering to the church. And before you leave, hallelujah. Somebody will want to just say to you, hallelujah. Somebody will want to say to you. There was a man in the Bible by the name of David. Do you think the Bible could complete without a man like David? The blind man at the wayside when Jesus was passing, he said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. David, a man of a God on earth. David was a man like you and I. David sinned, but he recognized that he, was, that he did wrong. And he said, Lord, forgive me. And that is why in Psalm 51, he poured his heart. And that is why the Lord was able to love David like that. Because all of us sin and come sharp to the glory of God. But sometimes some people will say, be like them and sin. Some people be like them holy more than dog. And when some people sin, you don't know them. Then. Like you any better. Amen. I know we're gonna mash some car this evening. Amen. You can stool me, but don't stool me until we finish. Alright? Let me finish, then you can stool me. Hallelujah. So David approached the army when he was sent to give his brothers lunch. And he heard the answer of Christ Philistine exalting himself. And you, my sister, said, Be careful what they say about the servant of God. He said, Touch not my prophet. And he said, Touch not my writing. Do my prophet no harm. Because what? Because what? They are the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. Be, be careful. So, David, one brother, sometimes you may want to host. Sometimes even your own house, people are against you. Sometimes even your own church, people are against you. Sometimes even your own community, people are against you. I will hear what's up. I want I want up. Sometimes you say to yourself, you get saved, they give you two weeks. And then at that time, they give you time when you choose a backslide. But you're still here, you're still standing. So David brother, hallelujah, I'm moving along. David brother said to him, where you, you leave your few sheep and come here, come make up your night. And imagine there are, there are soldiers. I said to you before, we don't fight like the world fight. Because what? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty true God. 
to the pulling down. Not only strong, but every strong wall. Every strong wall. You, do you know that? Even in your workplace. At times, people believe that they don't want to talk because they're boss. The boss is not your source. The job is not your source. God is your source. Can I tell you that sometimes, even if you talk out, do you know something that they can't fire you? Because they fire the business mashup. You never know that? Sometimes they fire the business mashup because are you holding it together? You miss a good place to give God some glory. David, when David hear I heard Goliath making the open eyes. He said, who is that uncircumcised against this? Defiling the armies of the living God. Hallelujah. And when you know the event, but let me just dissect it a little bit by saying that when David decided to challenge Goliath, the king said to him, no, you are a youth and he's a man of war from a long time. But they never know that David David was a man of God. Man of God. Yes. The king gave David his armor. And David said, I can't, I can't walk in this, I don't know these things. Because, because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But I'm mighty to God. To the pulling down of every strong wall. So David said, No, I don't need that. Hallelujah, I don't need that. We don't fight like that. Church people tell it, say somebody, we don't fight like that. Come, we don't fight like that. No, we don't fight like that. We live in the flesh, but we don't war in the flesh. You don't understand this thing. So David, somebody said David. David took his sling. Hallelujah. He took his sling. Hallelujah. Five stones. Not only that. But David give a prophetic word. He said, Today I will take your head from you. Yes. But before that, the king said, the king was in a fit. But David said, Back up. Let me give you my profile. Yes. David said, I was in my, I was telling my father sheep. You yeah. understand this? And a beer came. I want to take one of the lamb and I hold it by the beard and I destroy it. A lion came. Listen, which normal man can which normal man you know can fight a beard? Which normal man you know can fight a lion? Look at it. We don't fight in the flesh. Hallelujah. So David gave his profile. David gave his profile for the job. And he says, I took the lamb out of the mouth of the lion and out of the mouth of the bear. Because you see, you must understand this. This is why another time I said, but the lamb is the profit and the business. And the, the, the enemy only comes to take the profit and the business. Did he come for one of the sheep? He come for the lamb. The lamb is the profit and the business. Remember, if you have a father sheep and a mother sheep, and you're going to get an increase. Where you get it from? Come talk to me. The lamb. The lamb is the prophet. Eh? Yeah? I have a hard time. These people. Nah, but I can't even like this. I say, when you have a business, the enemy only come for the increase, the profit of the business. So the, the lamb is the prophet, my brother. The, the father of sheep and the mother sheep yes. produce the lamb. Yes. So why did the beer never come for the, come for the, the father sheep or the mother sheep? Because you still want it to be so anytime you, you produce a lamb, you come for the lamb. And then you come back. And you live by you. Hmm? So you see? So David said, I defend my business. I defend the family business. So he killed the bear 
and the, and the, and the, and the lion and, and preserve the lamb. And this and so looks like Philistine is no different. Because the lion, the, the, the giant keep walking around 40 days and 40 nights, taunting, taunting the army. And it was about 10 feet or more. But David, do you know that David was like the cedar of Lebanon? And do you know that Lebanon was about 100 feet? So that means Goliath was a new half to David in the spirit. Do you know how tall you are in the spirit? Do you know how powerful you are in the spirit? Some of you don't know. I just feel like touching something. There was, there was a lady in hospital and the enemy comes in night one and kill somebody. And the Lord opened the, the sister eye that she could see. The enemy comes in night two and kill another person. And that's all the time. And the sister in her bed and see. And she called her pastor, and pastor come in and pray as a pastor. And she get jittery and like in here you will get jittery and call pastor. And pastor. <sighs> and pastor said, just, just, just begin to just read some warfare prayer. And just pray over her and say, listen to me, you must understand that you are covered under the blood of Jesus. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. No weapon from against you shall prosper. And if it tongue that rises in judgment is already condemned. And, 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 they begin, and they begin to just release to warfare prayer. And cover her. I said to me, when you see the enemy, says to me, the Lord has not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a soul mind. I'm going too fast for you. Hallelujah. And, 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 and the sister, get her strength back. Tell somebody, get my strength back. Is somebody getting the strength back? Is somebody getting the strength back? And she was there at night. Hallelujah. And when the enemy comes in, and she can't see the enemy take time, tip two, and come in. And she just sit up in her bed, and lean back and ready. Can you imagine? Ready. Not afraid this time. Because fear has gone far from me. Because I'm bold as a lion. Hallelujah. Because I have my Savior with me. Hallelujah. And when he comes in, and she come again and he come to touch his head. He says, hey! I see you! Hallelujah. And he run and say, run a dress. Because, hey! I see you! In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take your flight out of this place. You're not killing any more, any more person to this idea. No, 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 no. Enough is enough. You need to take a stand sometimes. And the enemy will run out and leave. You see, you must understand this thing. Ladies, when your son behaving as if not now, when your husband behaving as if I hear you run things. You just go to the Lord and say, Lord, my husband is safe. You go all over and pillow. I feel inside of the bed. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cover you under the blood. And you call him by name. What your name, friend? Yeah? Quino? Okino. And if I you for Okino, you say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I anoint Okino bed tonight. And I release the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he is saved and sanctified. And I come against every spirit that want to take him away. I come against every spirit that want to, I come against untimely death in the name of Jesus. I come against every third party spirit. Hallelujah. Because Lord, you give it to him and married to him. And he, This lady, I have an experience like that. And the man said, Oh, me, I left this place. Now I stay here, left this house here. 
when we pray for the pay for that woman and it struck her and she go and demonstrate that. All the year one night the man come in. When he go in bed when she got she left my bed and I watch him and ask him nothing. And when she when he come in and he went and he jumped in the bed and then I didn't touch him, he had a bunch. And he couldn't find a knee and she was watching. And he couldn't find a knee at the bedside and the bunch. And he didn't have a fresh cold. And the bunch. She, 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 boy, that's all I have to say, when God works, don't interfere. Don't interfere when God works in it. And I'm in the band. And all of a sudden, he said, no, it's not that run. And I want to start run. And I start going, Lord, 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 Lord Jesus, help me. And I said, no, said nothing. And I said, no, no, no. And then, him and David, and God is with him. And till I hear the band, Lord, I come to you, Lord, I come to you. I come to you, Lord. I come to you, Jesus. Amen. You don't understand. I come to you, Lord. A long time to come, Lord. A long time to come. Yes. You must prepare yourself. We some father. What did you church again? Go share. Come and go. Prepare yourself for greater challenges. Greater challenges will come. So prepare yourself. And all the other ministers inside here, not for this church alone, but for you also, pastor. Greater challenges will come. Greater challenges will come. Amen. But all you need to do is to stand fast. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Amen. People in your own congregation will tell you, Pastor, what are you doing? This is the right thing. Oh, you can you say that to the man or the woman of God. And it's not you that get the mandate. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be there. Remember, remember with Moses? Yes. When he said, Moses, who you going like say? Yes. And you alone God can talk to. Remember that? Yes. And when they said, Why have you not understand? Because everything you take upon yourself. And Moses said, Alright, okay. God talked to them. You remember at Mount Sinai? What happened at Mount Sinai? I'm going fast, so just bear with me. Remember what happened at Mount Sinai? When he said to Moses, in three days, tell the men, don't go to them wife. I don't have tender years inside here. Ladies, and everybody wash your clothes. That means sanctify yourself. Those of, who, those of us who can live without that thing. <clears throat> he says, sanctify yourself. Then he said to Moses, let nobody come near the border. For if you come at the border, you shall surely die. Amen. Because no flesh cannot manage the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. You don't know, feel the preaching coming out now. Just feel it coming out now. Masataka. Kela bako sata. Mandala bako sete kaza. And he said to Moses, tell them don't come near the bar. Only you must come up. No bees. No animal, not at all. Yeah. And when the Lord began to speak, the Bible says, the Bible says that it was like thunder and lightning and earthquake. And the people fear and say, Lord, Moses, we can't take that. We don't want to talk, we don't want to not talk to him. Make it talk to you. And then when you take what the way tell say, we will hear. The Bible says that thunder lightning. Can you imagine that? And people talk about them, them, them afraid of God. They are coming at God's house. And take down equipment them. And some people have the audacity. No, so you go into the bed of adultery last night. I'm coming at the most holy place. Come out here, you holy hand. And I sing and I read God Bible. You know what the fear of God will come up in the house? Do you know that? He's coming back in the house. So I don't want to be a church I hear earlier. I don't want to be a church. I don't know. The last chicken come this now. So we can walk this now. I don't want to be a church. You see, let me tell you something. Can I just speak it? Let, let, let God get in it. Can I just don't know the let God is being released to me? You have some people who live in some community where you watch you 
You are the only God that I will see. Make it spoke a little bit. All who is on YouTube and whosoever, and you're a Christian, and you're a child of God, you are the only God that some people will see. And you are messing up yourself and messing up the work of God. How oh, can you say you are a Christian and you can sleep with a man or a woman and you come from out of your bed and you come in a church? Come do what you're supposed to do. And when you don't expect God's sanctuary, I'm saying to you, your sons and your daughter will be excelled from this district. We have seen in this parish how many superstars we have. We have Lucy Wood, we have Verdica Campbell, and what again? Help me. Come. Brown. Whatever. And they have more to come. When I was coming, I, I checked a little bit, this something pop up, and I realized last year, a couple of years, I think about three or four domestic murders we have in this parish. Remember? Remember? Yes. And, and they, were, they were close, about two, about two we have in May, very close in May. The, 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 the man that, that, that with his Kamala wife, remember that one? Remember? These are the things that we need to intercede about. Amen? Amen? The spirit of domestic murder. Amen. In this in this region. In this region. Right? And I think we hear of one who the man light woman fire. Remember that one? Yes. I'm in the right place. Right place. Hmm? Yes, man. It, it was on the news. Yes, so these are the things we need to intercede about. Right? As a church, as a, as a church, we need to intercede about these things. We know violence are everywhere. But if we just lift it up, if we just if we just lift it up and say, Well, a certain thing said, nothing will happen. Let me tell you something, I'm closing. The Lord does nothing in the herd until somebody prays. I said, the Lord does not do nothing inside here unless we pray. Listen to me, church. The Lord, God himself, will not come into earth and do nothing. He gave man dominion over land and sea. And man gave it up to the devil. And that's why the devil is dominating the place. The Lord, the Lord will not do nothing in here unless we do something. Why do you think he said we must pray? Think he knows what's happening? Eh? He knows everything that's going on, but we have to pray. That's why Jesus said it very well that men, man are to pray. Eh? And not feeling. I said the Lord do nothing in the earth unless we pray. That's why Paul says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Then he says, we must not be ignorant of the devil's device. Hmm? I want to tell you, just seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek him early while he's near. Call upon him. Hallelujah. Anyone in, in the hearing of my voice who do not know the Lord as your personal Savior. I give you an opportunity right now to come from darkness to light. I know you can't touch anybody more than so, but just check the person beside them and find them they are saved. If they're not saved, just meet them right, meet them right yourself. Outside and inside. If they're not saved, just bring them come. Hallelujah. And those who are sick, those who are sick right now, in my hearing right now, you are sick. You are healer. Hallelujah. The healer is here. Glory to God. I said, those who are sick, it doesn't matter your condition. Just point you on up in the ear. 
those who are sick, hallelujah. Let us pray with you. But most of all, I'm after the men who are not saved. The men who are not saved, bring, him, bring them right here. Hallelujah. Those who under the ear of my voice are you not well. Just, just take care now. And those who can stand, understand, please. Those who are sick, they can stand, understand, and pray with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. I send my word. I Her. I couldn't recognize her. 
The ladies serve us. And when the fish don't keep looking, I said, Who's Pastor's wife? And when the service is over, and she says, You know, my aunt looking for me. She looked 10 years younger, and she was like a white woman. She was black, black, black. So she get delivered. Hallelujah. And we have many like those. Hallelujah. Mommy, there is something in this area here. Hallelujah. Give your hands. Give your hands. Father, we thank you for your healing touch right now. In the name of Jesus. We release your healing power over her now. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for your healing hands. We command everything that is in you. To go! In the name of Jesus. Now, go. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, brother. Father, we thank you for your touch over your son even now. We thank you, Lord God, that whatever it is that is interfering with the stomach right now, to, to, we cut it off right now, that it vanish in the name of Jesus. So let your power and your anointing fall upon my brother now, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody is? Lift your hand. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Hallelujah. 
don't want to come. You just get another. You have somebody by name, Sandra? Good. This is this one more person. Sandra, you have your cousin, your niece. Who is it? Sandra. Lift your hands for Sandra. You have somebody by name, Sandra? Those two persons, lift your hands. Both hands. Hallelujah. Father of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for whatever the, the end we made for God. They turn to for good. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Albert. It's Albert. Hallelujah. Albert. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless your name. We give you praise and we give you glory. Thank you, Lord, as you confirm your word with sight, Father. I bless you. Somebody give a lot of praise. God bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we pray that you overflow, that your people will be healed in the name of Jesus, and that signs and wonders and miracles will follow them. We thank you for bringing you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Father, we thank you for all that you have done today. My soul rejoices. 
and I give you all the glory. And ask you, Lord, to overshadow us, oh God. Thank you for what you have done. And we will worship you and we will praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn is one verse of, Oh, great thou art. Oh, Lord, my God, when I am awesome wonder, consider all the works thy hands have made. Lord.